Hey there, Sharon Reynolds here. Welcome to day 2087 of What You Have To Know, documenting the journey. Originally, as I transitioned from the brick and mortar corporate world of businesses to the online world of uh, the internet, right? The World Wide Web. 2017, following my divorce, I decided I was going to do something totally different. And I jumped online and started to learn and grow and learn a whole lot about myself and about what I do and do not like to do, what I am and am not good at, what I should and should not participate in, and all the other crazy stuff that distracts us and gets our attention online and diverts us from our real path of what we're trying to do. But that is our real path. Whatever is our path is our real path, right? Everything that we do, everything that we are is for a reason. And usually it's to help us grow and develop and become a better person. So today's idiom for supersize your business is to make a move, to do something, take action, uh, decide what it is that you want to do and take action on. So often we get stuck. And I think that COVID just really enhanced this in just a rut where we're, we're spinning our wheels. We're not really doing anything or going anywhere or, or t making any moves or taking any action. And we can get lost in the whole paralysis of analysis thing, or we can make a decision, move on, take some action, see what kind of result we get, and then decide what to do next. We always should be asking ourselves, what's next? What's next? What's the next thing I need to do in order to move my life in the direction I want it to go? And today I said, let's make a move in order to contribute to making the world a better place, right? The world is a little bit haywire sometimes. And I've been talking to people and they're really getting, they're actually getting depressed and down about what's going on around them is impacting them more negatively than what's really actually going on in their own life. And if we remember to do things like appreciate what is, what is working in our life, we'll create more of that. If we uh, do a, a SWOT analysis on ourselves every once in a while and analyze our strengths and focus on our strengths, we're always going to feel better about ourselves than if we're letting the world beat us up and tell us how crazy we are or get upset by people and how they drive and in traffic, etc. So, that was today's uh, idiom, make a move. And, and do you need to make a move in order to grow and build and supersize your business? Do you need to make a move in any area or aspect of your life? Are you stuck and just putting up with and staying in your comfort zone? Or is there something that you got this little inkling that you should do? I say do that thing. Uh, make that move and you don't have to make it all at once, but just start making little moves in the direction you really want your life to go. Because it's up to each and every one of us to create the life that we want. Our topic for our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge today, day 284 today, is the SOAP framework. We're going through the SOAP framework again, and we're on the A of the SOAP framework, which is to look at the options that we brainstormed yesterday, take three of them, and then analyze them, and pick one to take action on now. Why? Because as soon as we make a decision, as soon as we make a choice, we want to immediately take action on that. It doesn't have to be implement the whole thing, but it has to be take that first step, take that next step. So we use the head, heart, and intuition tool today to analyze our options that we came up with yesterday. We select, we brainstorm like 10 or more, then we select three of those, and then we analyze three of those, and we pick the one we're going to take action on today. So I am, I think I've already decided, I haven't done my whole analysis yet using the head, heart, and intuition tool, but I'm going to analyze five different organizations that I'm thinking about physically volunteering for one-on-one -on -one, or not one-on-one, -on -one, one to many probably uh, participating in. And there's, there's five different organizations that I want to look into them and see if they truly match my values, my head, my heart, and my intuition when it comes to wanting to be and participate with those organizations. So that's all I've got today. Hitting the road today for a trip with my sister, which is always fun. We're going to something uh, that we've never been to before. It's like a 20 mile outdoor uh i want to say flea market but it's not really a flea market it's like a market and it's in a town in texas called round round top i think it might, I might be wrong but it's something like that we've wanted to go for years and so just building a house down in texas and she decided she wants to go this year so we are going if i can help you in any way in the meantime hit me up otherwise i'll be with you tomorrow have a fantastic day